Okay. My name is Linda Hopkins and I work for Shepherd ISD and today I'm going to show you how to make chicken parmesan. First of all, you need to get all your ingredients, which is going to be a number 10 can of spaghetti sauce. You're going to have your breaded chicken patties, which is going to count for two MMA and one grain bread. And then you're going to have your whole wheat spaghetti noodles. And you're also going to put salt and olive oil into your water when you're boiling. I have the water already boiling, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to measure out your noodles. And you're going to take your scale, you're going to put what you're measuring them in on top, zero out your scale. That way you're getting the exact uh, pounds for your, that you're going to need for it. And you're going to put your gloves on. And this particular recipe calls for two pounds for 11 servings, so that's what you're going to measure out. If you go over a little on the two pounds, it's, it's fine. It doesn't have to be exact, but as close to two pounds as you can get it. And make a mess in the process. Okay, and as you can see, as you can see, it's showing right at two pounds. It's a little off, but if you put too much, you're going to go way over. So, And as I said earlier, I have my water boiling over here already. I've put a dash of salt in it and a couple of dashes of olive oil. It kind of just depends. This keeps your noodles from sticking. When you put them in there, they all bunch up into a big ball, and it keeps them from sticking. So as soon as you pour your noodles in there, you need to stir it and kind of keep stirring it to keep them from bunching up also. I'll turn my flame back up. While that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and put the noodles on to cook, I mean the chicken patties on to cook. You're going to put them on a sheet pan with a pan liner. You're going to need 11. It, the recipe calls for 11. And like I said, these are a 2 MMA and a 1 grain bread, and these are breaded chicken patties, whole grain chicken patties. And you're going to stick these in the oven, and you're going to cook these for approximately 10 minutes till the temperature is 165. going to set your timer for 10 minutes. And while all that's going on, we're going to heat up our spaghetti sauce. And like I said, it's a number 10 can of low sodium spaghetti sauce. You're going to turn it on low. You're just going to heat this up enough to put it in the pan and not everything's cold when you put it in there because when you assemble it all, you're going to stick it back in the oven and reach a 165 temperature.
the key to this spaghetti is to keep it from being all mushy and hard you have to continuously kind of keep an eye on it and stir it or it will bunch up. You don't want to overcook your noodles, but you don't want to undercook them neither. They boil for approximately eight minutes, eight to 10 minutes, depending on the flame and stuff like that. And while we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and spray this pan. You're going to use a two inch steam table pan and you're going to spray it with Vegeline or some folks use canola oil. Either one will work. I'm just going to spray it real good. Okay. And like I said, this recipe calls for 11 servings in a pan. So if you're going to do 33 servings, you're going to do three pans and so forth. Um, you're also going to need your shredded cheese, mozzarella cheese to go on top of it, and your spaghetti sauce, of course. You want your spaghetti sauce to heat up to 165 also. So let me grab this thermometer. And it's only 96 right now, so we're good on that. When you clean your thermometers, you want to use a new alcohol swab every time. Drain these noodles. And I run some hot water over them also to get some of that slime and stuff off of them. Separate them up. And then I'm gonna put them in a half pan. See, they're not all bunchy, they're all loose. You don't have any big clobs of noodles. The key to these wheat noodles is not overcooking them. Okay, we're gonna come back over here. Okay.
change our gloves, wash our hands. And then I take and pour a little bit of the olive oil over the noodles so that way they do not dry out and they do not stick while you're waiting on your chicken patties and stuff to cook. Because you actually use your um, spaghetti noodles when you're serving them. You put the, the spaghetti on the tray, then you put your patty on top. So you put just a little bit in there. Kind of smush them around, mix it all up. You don't want a whole lot of oil, olive oil in here because then it gets too slimy. Just enough to keep them from sticking to each other and bunching up and getting gummy. Okay. And then you're going to get aluminum foil. Cover it with aluminum foil. And our timer went off on our chicken. So you're going to pull your chicken out. Thermometer and clean it again. You want to stick your thermometer into this part right here. That's where the temperature is actually received at. Do not touch the bottom of the pan. Stick it in that sideways. Okay, the temperature has to reach 165. It is only reaching 143, so it has to go back into the oven. And I'd say for another five to six minutes should be good. We'll clean our thermometer again. Check on our sauce. Make sure to stir the sauce before you take the temperature. That way the heat is evenly distributed throughout the whole pan, not just on the top or the bottom. It's only showing 145, so it needs to continue. These need to go into your warmer. You'll set them in the warmer till it's serving time.
And you can always have your uh, chicken pre-cooked and sitting in the warmer waiting for your spaghetti sauce and stuff to get ready also. Okay, our sauce is showing 167, so it is good. We can turn it off. I'm going to go ahead and pull these chicken patties out and check those again. They are showing what, 201 and 205 and steady climbing. So they are done. Now you're going to take these so they're not in the way. Okay, you're going to wash your hands again, put you some gloves on. And you're going to take two cups of spaghetti sauce. You need a two cups. You're going to take two cups, put it on the bottom of your pan. Kind of shake it and kind of evenly distribute it. It's not going to be real thick. Uh, everywhere, but just enough to coat the pan. And you're going to take your going to take your chicken patties. And you're going to stick them in the pan. And you're going to take two more cups of sauce, and you're just going to spread it on top of your patties. Evenly try to hit all the patties the same. Sometimes that doesn't work, but you can take a spatula. And spread it out. And I'm going to go ahead and take you the temperature again on this and see if it's dropped. Okay, it's dropped to 156, so it needs to go back into the oven and back up to 165. probably five minutes we'll set it for five minutes and you would do this to every and assemble this like this every pan that you're going to do so of course you would have more spaghetti sauce and stuff like that but it's the same way for every pan and then when it comes out of the oven we'll put the cheese on it 
Or you can wait until right before serving time to put the cheese on it before you stick it on your steam table. That way the cheese is real nice and pretty. Uh, sometimes when you put the cheese on there, if you stick it in the warmer and it sits in the warmer too long with the cheese, the cheese will melt and turn kind of gooey. So we just wait until right before we stick it on the steam table line. When the bell rings, then that's when we put the cheese on it. That way it looks prettier and your cheese is not all gobbed up. Okay. We don't have to show how to cook that. Okay, our patties are back up to 174.3, so they are good. So now you're going to take your cheese, which is going to be mozzarella cheese. And it's going to be a fourth of a cup on each patty. And you're going to do a level fourth of a cup. And you're going to get your noodles back out. And you're going to do a half a cup of noodles. You can use the scoop, you can lose, use the ladle, anything that you're comfortable with. I prefer to use the ladle. You're going to take half a cup, which is going to try to make it the best you can. Sometimes it's going to go over, but you're going to stick them on the tray. And you're going to take a chicken patty. Take a little bit of the sauce from here. Kind of stick it on your noodles a little bit. And this is what we have as a reimbursable tray. You have your one cup of vegetables, you have your half a cup of fruit, you have your grain, which is your bread, you have your milk, you have your grain pasta, you have your two MMA and your one grain meat. And this is how we do the chicken parmesan. Thank you.